Hey guys, it's Joseph Michael, your Scrivener coach, and this week's tip involves typewriter scrolling in Scrivener. It's a great feature, but you've got to know when to use it. Do you know? Well, I'm going to show you the reasons why you should use it and when you shouldn't. So let's go. Okay, so here we are inside Scrivener. Now, first thing I want you to notice is typewriter scrolling, it only works inside composition mode. And that's the mode where we click on this little button up here and it takes us into a full screen option. Now, I'm sticking with my example. I've got a Hunger Games example project loaded up here in Scrivener because I'm using it for quite a few other example trainings. So I'm going to stick with that for this example as well. When I click the Compose button, it takes me into the full screen. Now, if your typewriter scrolling is on, you'll notice that I have a lot of text here. And when I scroll down, I can click right here and say I want to continue editing. I simply type, and once I do that, once I start typing, notice it automatically puts my screen to the vertical center. Now, this is great because I could keep typing and I don't have to scroll. Notice I just type, and every time I hit enter, it automatically centers me in the middle of my screen. Now let's talk about when this is a good idea and when this is a bad idea. Now what happens if say I'm editing? Now when I'm editing, let's say I was editing up here and I wanted to change this to I, oh now did you see that? It kind of skipped around and that's because the second I entered text it threw me into the vertical center again. So now my eyes have to quickly find that vertical center of the screen. Now that can be really annoying if you're editing or if you're making changes. So let me show you a workaround. I'm going to escape out of here. First of all, let me show you how to turn off and on the typewriter scrolling. First, you're going to go up to Format, and then you're going to go down to Options. Notice it says Typewriter Scrolling, and there's a check mark by it. Now, obviously, I could turn this on and off by clicking this button. There, I just turned it off. Now I could go to Format, Options, and turn it back on. You also notice that there is a keyboard shortcut next to it. Control Command T. Now again, this only matters when you're inside the Compose mode. So if I'm in Compose mode, now let's say I'm writing and then I quickly want to go and jump to editing. What I do is I'll just use the keyboard shortcut. Control Command T. Now that lets me just write where I'm at, continue, without having the screen jump around to the vertical center. And then I could quickly turn it back on again when I'm ready to write. And there we go. Now the other thing you could do if you're not a keyboard shortcut fan or you just can't seem to remember it, which is me sometimes, you can hover your mouse up to the top of the screen here and you'll see the, the menu will come down. That's where you can just type format, uh, click format, sorry, and then options, typewriter scrolling. And you can just turn it off and on right there. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope it helps you save a lot of frustration down the road. So just remember there is a time and a place for typewriter scrolling. And now you know the difference. I'll see you next time.